Good morning, Calvary. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. I hope you're having a great Friday and I hope you're excited about the weekend and can join us for worship in person or online. Hey, what is your favorite meal? Some of you right now might be thinking about steak and lobster or special seafood dish or maybe a Mexican or Italian food that you just love, you know, pizza. Uh, if I have to answer what my favorite meal is, it's probably Thanksgiving. I love, you know, fresh turkey and dressing and sweet potatoes and the desserts that accompany it uh, always. But uh, in Exodus 13, as we're, you know, continuing our journey to freedom story, God commands the Israelites to have a meal. Now, it's a special meal. It's a meal once a year that they are to celebrate to remember God's deliverance uh, of the Israelites from slavery, of uh, God setting them free, uh, of God uh, making them his people and establishing them as a nation. And, and so once a year they're to remember that. We call that, you know, Passover because they're remembering the, the fact that God spared the, the firstborn of the Israelites by the blood of the lamb that was on the doorposts and the death angel passed over. And, and honestly, for 4,000 years, they've been celebrating that feast, that meal to remember. Now, the reason that that's important is because all of that Passover points to Jesus. Because Jesus is the one who sets us free from slavery. Jesus is the one who saved us from sin and death and hell. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And through his death and resurrection, God has delivered us from the spiritual slavery and bondage that we're living in to make us free and to make us a people belonging to God. And so if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, God wants you, he wants us to remember. By the way, that's why we have a meal to remember. It's a lot more often than once a year. We do it on a regular basis here at Calvary. It's celebrating communion. It's observing the Last Supper, the Lord's Supper. It's, it's celebrating the Eucharist if you have, uh, were raised Catholic. In, in other words, we want to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus, the Lamb of God. And we want to remember that He saved us and give thanks. See, the bread reminds us, well, Jesus said, this is my body broken for you. The cup reminds us, as Jesus said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. It was shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins and for me. And when we remember, well, we live in grateful obedience. We're grateful that God loved us and saved us. And because we're grateful, we want to obey the God who loved us and saved us. So I pray today that you remember what Jesus has done for you and you give thanks. I pray today that you are living in grateful obedience. Not obedience because you have to, but obedience to God because you want to, because you know that that's where the blessings lie. Uh, because this is the way of the followers of Jesus. I hope that helps you and blesses you. Have a great day.